Hey guys, I'm back. The reason it's been a while since uh, the engine video on this little guy is um, I've actually been buying some stuff. I got a brand new DeWalt 20 volt max lithium ion uh, drill. And I also bought a brand new uh, 10, 10 amp corded uh, reciprocating saw. Came with a bag for the drill, an extra battery, and a charger. And I've also bought a um, Map Gas Pro kit. That way I can cut through um, some things and bend a lot of stuff. But uh, <laughs> I'd also I went out and bought the uh, piston for that guy. His piston and rod's in the mail right now. Next to buy is the um, gaskets for this one's crankshaft. And then I'm going to build this one. Thinking about buying a carburetor and gas tank as on eBay. And we're gonna build this one together. A map gas pro kit just fell. But uh, anyway, for all you automotive buffs out there, you know what this means. Yeah, I need a I got a new sending unit for my truck because I was at the gas I was at the tire place when I got two brand new Wrangler tires for it. And uh, pulling out. I ran out of fuel. There's my new tires. I had ran out of fuel in it, so I'm going to put a new sending unit in because it was reading the wrong thing. It was reading half a tank when it was actually empty. And sometimes it glitches anyway. But this is my 86 GMC Sierra 1500 for the 350 small block 4 volt main. 350 turbo transmission, 3 speed. With, it has a posi track rear end in it and dual exhaust. One of the exhausts is actually hiding behind the um, tag, which I'm probably just going to end up dumping them in the middle of the truck. That way I can um, have a hideaway exhaust and uh, don't have to go to, to a pipe bending shop and have them bend that out for mufflers. Um, There's going to be another video on that truck. I put the sitting unit in, I got to drop the gas tank. And um, make sure this is the right one because they said there's two different kinds. There was a a uh, two tube and a three tube. I got the three tube because my uncle said it was that was that was mostly what them trucks came out with. Um, you know, as I said, I got new tools and stuff. That damn thing came off because just, they just junk. Whoever gets to come, just throw them away. Junk them. There's going to be a video on um, the brand new Predator I put on that thing, which is actually in my last video, or the video before. I just showed you all what it was. I got to build the clutch system. With TS Customs actually did a pretty good job with his clutch. He's got the original bracket and a way that he mounted it on there, which welded it onto the frame, is what I'm going to do to mine. All I got to do is cut like a two inch or three inch chunk out of the. Um, the middle section of the frame underneath the dash and that's it and um, that's actually it for all this I'm actually going to show you all when we build the other one the uh, other motor a lot of people had questions about that gas tank yes it is just a little fruit jar all you do is um, you drill the holes for these little pickups which this is like a five horse car, but that little pickup right there, you drill a hole for it. You only drill the diameter of the tube, then you stick the carburetor on top of it, and bolt it on with two bolts for the little, these one and a halves. These two bolts right here. And you make your little gasket. You can actually use the gasket that was used for the gas tank for these things. You drill the holes for that, and you make a tiny, tiny, tiny hole right there, right next to the gasket. You make the tiniest strip that you've got. Drill that hole. That's for the breather for the gas tank. And then you just stick this on, and then you take the pickup again. You actually screw it up into the carb because you got to pull it out so it clear this lid. And that's about it for that glass. I just use these little fruit jars for the gas tank. They actually run a pretty long time with it on there. They are not the same amount of gas that the original gas tank will hold, it's like half amount. Well, these are just show engines. If it was a real engine, I would actually, I mean, if it was a real working engine, I would actually got the bigger gas tank that they had on the trailer. But I saw that there, and I was like, I'm going to get that. 
Um, hope y'all like my drill and stuff. Cause I paid like a hundred something dollars for all that. I think it was a uh, hundred just for the drill and seventy nine for that because he's having a Father's Day sale. I did also get some new welding wire. And as you all saw a couple videos ago, I got some new gloves and stuff. Um, what I am going to do lately to one of the tractors is the uh, custom needs to be finished. That's what really needs to happen. The uh, Panzer needs an oil change bad. It's leaking it out. It needs a head gasket put on it. You can see it sitting out there. The blue tractor needs nothing but probably a valve stem on the front. Front right tire, wheel horse, need a battery put on it because I took it off at ST16. ST16, only, that's the only Tecumseh I've liked so far at all. I got the uh, new rectifier for it. It's uh, right there. I got to wire it up, put it on. I'm going to do a rewire on the whole system. Tank, I need to get new valves for. These left cylinders, they, the valves are just fried because I did them wrong one time and it sort of warped them so it's running like crap right now I did get a new um, I don't know if I showed anybody this I did pick up a brand new it's like new but it's only been used one time I went to the flea market about 50 bucks it is an actual sleeve hitch adapt it's actually the sleeve hitch meant for this tractor I bought one Got it hooked to the turn and plow. This thing actually pulls it like glass. It hooks up to the deck pickup. I'm gonna fill the. I'm gonna put wheel weights on it. I found some on the uh, Craigslist for forty dollars for both. Um. Well, yeah, that's about it. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll show y'all more later. Bye.